In Agriculture in Focus, the IGY Marina's agro-farmers market moves into high gear and poultry farmers benefit from the $5 feed subsidy as was promised by government. Details of these and more are straight ahead. Hi everyone, it is Thursday and this is Agriculture in Focus. I'm your presenter, Hingson Butcher. Poultry producers who purchase feed during the period October 1st to December 31st, 2012, receive rebates on every bag purchased. A $5 subsidy was promised by officials of the Ministry of Agriculture, Food Production, Fisheries and Rural Development to farmers and the promise has been honored. Over $300,000 was paid by the government to the farmers as of Friday, 18th January 2013. A controversy surrounding the payments was addressed by ministry officials during a press briefing held last Thursday. Agriculture Minister Honorable Moses Jabatis explained the reason behind the subsidy. Over the last few months, the prices of grain on the world market have been increasing at an alarming rate. In the second half of 2012, we witnessed an increase in the price of grain. The price of a bag of feed moved anywhere from $34 to $39. And closer to the end of 2012, we saw feed being sold at close to $40. In an effort to assist farmers, our government through this ministry, in order to cushion the impact of the rapid price increases, decided to absorb $5 on every bag of feed which was purchased by poultry farmers between October 1st and December 31st of 2012. This decision affected our ability to implement all of our activities in our livestock repositioning program. In other words, we had to redirect, seek permission from the Ministry of Finance to redirect funds in order to assist our poultry farmers. The assistance will cost the St. Lucian taxpayer through the government $303,000. And I'm happy to say that payments will be made to poultry farmers who purchase feed between October 1st of 2012 to the last day of December and who presented receipts and uh, whose receipts were verified by the ministry as of Friday. The process to get farmers paid obviously included inspections of all receipts. We found situations where we had to verify the information that was presented to us. And as the Permanent Secretary said a while ago, it is very important, and in fact the Ministry of Finance is very strict on this matter, that we could not be handing monies to, to people if we had not verified correctly the information that, that we had received. So it took us some time, and we want to make it very clear that farmers were promised that they would be getting the, the, the rebate, so to speak, after they had made the purchases between October 1st and December 31st. I wish to state categorically that our government recognizes that all productive sectors, all productive sectors in the economy are under pressure and that this government has gone all out to help cushion the negative impacts of the, the decline in the economy. For the Ministry of Agriculture, Food Production, Fisheries and Rural Development, this government has provided assistance not only to livestock farmers, but to farmers who are in plantains and bananas. And even up to this week, we are continuing to distribute fertilizers at a reduced cost to farmers who are in vegetable production and other forms of crop production through their various associations. So everyone has been considered, and I'm happy to say that we are now in a position to pay the rebate to farmers. We continue to urge all farmers, all fishers, to do everything that they can to ensure that on their side they become more efficient, they keep records, because we continue to have this problem with inadequate record keeping by our farmers, and we are working very hard to change that culture, because if we do not keep proper records, it is very difficult for any government to assist. So we continue to be committed. This problem which faces us, which is a problem of the increase in the price of grain on the world market, which in turn causes an increase in the price of feed for us in the region, is something that we are working very hard to change. We have had discussions with a business concern about a feed mill in St. Lucia, 
and up to two weeks ago, principals of the business concern were here in St. Lucia and we had discussions with them. There are other options that we are looking at through the marketing board in order to assist with this problem. We know it continues to be a problem and we are working very hard to ensure that in the medium to long term we deal with that problem because we are very serious about our livestock repositioning program and we want to ensure that the inadequate supply of feed does not continue to be a problem. So this is the situation and we are happy to report that we are now in a position to begin the payments as of Friday. This spike in prices on the world market, we did not cater for it in the budget of the last financial year and therefore we had to make adjustments to some of our programs. Um, even last week we are being made aware that the price of animal feed has gone up again and we are assessing the situation as a ministry. We will be having discussions with the Ministry um, of Finance and then we will be in a position very soon to make an announcement. Meanwhile, here's permanent secretary in the Ministry of Agriculture. From the onset, it was made very clear the subsidy or the assistance program would come at the end of the period because uh, farmers would have had to produce the receipts and all the records so that we could verify that, yes, these farmers are worthy of these refunds because they indeed had the number of birds and they did purchase the number of bags of feed they said that they would. At the end of the period, when December ended, we decided it was time for us to now honor our agreements with the farmers. When it came to that point, though, we had to await the receipts from the farmers. Some of them came in very early, others uh, did not submit a number of documents. On verification of these documents, we saw some gaps between what the veterinary department projected, the figures they have, and what was being submitted. Therefore, we had to go through an elaborate process of verification to ensure that taxpayers' monies were not just being given to anybody without they being worthy of it. And so it took us a little more time than we expected. Today, I could say that we are almost through with that whole process and we are ready to make some announcement on this particular um, program of assistance. I must admit, though, uh, one of the reasons why we were so tardy is that the verification process, and it happens very regularly when it comes to dealing with um, organizations. Even a while ago, we just had a meeting here discussing the whole question of record keeping. It's very important that farmers uh, maintain records so that in the event of a program assistance that has been launched, would have had these records up front. So we are sorry that farmers felt the, uh, that they are being abandoned and ministry is not honoring its um, commitment, but let me tell farmers rest assured that this ministry is a ministry who have the concerns of the farmers at the forefront of our minds and that we will do everything we can to assist our farmers, but our farmers must also find ways of cooperating with the ministry. We are all in that together. I don't think it's a question of the ministry holding back on farmers, but rather when you have to deal with taxpayers' hard-earned monies, you have to go through a process of verification to ensure that tomorrow persons who are not worthy of funds are receiving funds, and so the, even our program of assistance to farmers could be extended because of our good management of what was entrusted to us. The IGY Marina's Agro Farmers Market moves into high gear as hundreds of customers turned out last Saturday on the boardwalk of the Rodney Bay Marina for their weekend purchase of produce. Vendors and customers speak highly of the event and call for the farmers market to become a weekly event. What do you think about this activity, farmers market happening here at the Rodney Bay Marina? Oh, it's very good. I think we've been waiting for that for a long time. And today was the best because everybody mixed up together, black, white, blue, green. We are all together and I'm already carrying my basket away. And it's not 12 o'clock yet. You know, but it's good. And I hope every little community like Sufra, Viewfoot, everybody should have a farmers market. Oh, it's very good. And a lot of people would like to come here and shop, and the farmers are united with each other. I think it should take place every day, even though everybody don't come, but the few that can make it should, should be there. I'm satisfied. We have celery, we have parsley, we have yam, we have everything you could get by the market, we have it here. What do you think is selling the best? The herbs and the seasoning is going well. Very good, very good. I've been here every Saturday since this started. Because what I'm saying, if we lap, maybe the people, if they come and they miss us, they might say, well, you know, they don't know. That will confuse them. So we'd rather be here every Saturday. So what do you have available for sale? 
Well, oranges, grapefruit, mangoes, papaya, cucumber, plantain, you name it. Yeah, I grow everything. There are days when it's kind of slow, but there are days when it's good. How are you thinking about today? Very good. Christine Glasgow, regional head of Region 1 and 2. You're here at Farmers Market. What are your impressions? It's very good. For the past three months we've tried it, it has been steadily improving. But most of the farmers are from the areas 1 and 2. So I always come up every Saturday to support them to see how they're doing, ask them about the sale and they even look forward to seeing me because if I come a little late they would ask me what happened. But it has been doing very good so far, very good. The farmers are satisfied, especially this Saturday when Lime text persons to inform them about it because they were complaining about the lack of marketing and the advertisement of it. They always thought if there was more advertisement things would have been a lot better and this time we got Lime on board and so the flow of customers has been steady and the sale has been very good today. So as someone who pushes the agricultural sector, what do you think this activity will do for the agricultural sector on a whole? I think it is going to boost the whole agricultural sector because we have a new set of clients. For example, the yachtsmen may not have normally gone to, to town. In fact, today one person was asking me about whether the eggs has any added um, antibiotics and any GMO and stuff like that. And I said, no, what we feed our birds is just the food and that's about it. And he asked whether he can visit. And so I gave him the number that he could call and will make arrangements so he can go and see the farm and the crop farmers to see for themselves where what is being sold here where it is being produced. So I think that is going to augur well if more persons, I mean, would be asking to come and see that farm so they themselves can create an impression for themselves. I find it is going to augur well for us. Very, very good. That's a new market by itself. It's a niche market. That's how I see it. I think it's good to promote our local products to the visitors who are coming in at the port. Um, it also provides the locals in the north with a market, easy access, um, particularly on a Saturday, convenient, but I think the prices need to be more in line with um, what is happening in the economy now. What you came to look for? Nothing in particular. I actually came in with the wife because I heard it was being advertised from last Saturday, but I never actually got a chance to get it. But so far, it, it looks good. We happen to buy just one item so far, some lettuce. We're still looking around. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a good thing. We need more of that. You know, every week we should have that, every weekend. Because people need to eat healthy. And uh, like the Topi Tabu, I haven't seen that in ages. I grew up in the years when, you know, these things were flourishing and I don't see that. So we need to get more closer to nature. And that's why we're having all the problems with diabetes and all them sick people. I live in America and I stay to nature. So it is a pleasure, you know, and I would like to see a little more of that. I would come every Saturday possible to do my shopping. I appreciate if you all could maintain that. It's an excellent opportunity to see local products and friendly people selling good products. We like it. You're from where? Germany. Yeah, there's an impression that this should happen every Saturday. What do you think? Yeah, it would be a good idea. Instead of uh, once a month, four times a month. Why not? Especially in the season, when a lot of people passing by. It's good for the people. So when you come here, what do you look for? Vegetables, fruits, especially. And we met some friends here. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. It was good because I sold out mostly all my dashing. You could see a few. I sold a lot from my grapefruit already. No more sweet potatoes. All gone. Patrons and vendors at last Saturday's Agro Farmers Market being held on the boardwalk at the IGY Rodney Bay Marina. Before we conclude today's agriculture in focus, all egg and broiler producers are invited to a meeting on Monday, January 28th at 2 p.m. at the conference room of the Veterinary and Livestock Services Division in the TGS building at Balata. The meeting is being hosted by the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Agriculture, Food Production, Fisheries and Rural Development to discuss with poultry producers the way forward for that subsector. It's Monday, 20th January at 2 p.m. TJ's building Balata. All poultry producers are urged to attend. And with that, we conclude today's Agriculture in Focus. On behalf of all of us at the Ministry of Agriculture, Food Production, Fisheries and Rural Development, I'm Hingston Butcher thanking you for listening and reminding you that agriculture is our business.